Hey guys, I'm Butcha Shimada from Homo Shimata channel. Tang is always super popular among yakiniku lovers. By the way, do you know the difference between pork tang and beef tang? Many people actually don't know what they're eating. If you don't care, that's fine. But if you care, please watch it till the end. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Let's get started. These are the tongues of cow and pig. The bigger one is beef, the smaller one is pork. And this is the tip. The root is soft and the tip is harder. Like all the other meat, the part that moves a lot are hard, and the part that does not move are soft. The tip of the beef tongue has a rough surface and the skin is hard. So basically the skin of the beef tongue is removed at the butcher. The tip of the pork tongue does not have the rough surface like cows. This is the part called special tongue at the root. The beef tongue is harder and the surface of the root is rough. The surface of the root of the pork tongue is also rough but soft. Let's measure the size and weight and compare. Pork tongue weighs 275 grams. Beef tongue weighs, wow, 1 kilo and 429 grams. Now the length. The pork tongue is 21 centimeter. Beef tongue is 30 centimeter. I will measure around the tongue, the thickest part and the tip. The root of the pork tongue is 14.5 centimeter and the tip is 10.5 centimeter. Beef tongue thickest part is 32.5. Wow. And the tip is 21 centimeter. This is the backside. When you purchase them from the butcher, the average weight of a pig is about 110 kilograms and the cow is about 700 kilograms. So there is a difference of about seven times. You can see the difference in the size clearly by stacking them together like this. Next, let's cut it and take a look inside. First, I will cut the root part of the pork tongue. There are many restaurants that divide pork tongue into a special tongue and a normal tongue. However, the root part is softer and has more fat, which is delicious. Now the beef tongue. This root is so called special tongue. The whitish part here is especially soft and so delicious. Fine restaurants only serve the best part so there's less to eat. Well different restaurants have different styles so I can't say what's good or bad. I like to grill the best part slowly but also I like to fry the tip part in a pan and eat it as snack. It depends on my mood. If you look at the cross sections, the difference is clear. Pigs have thin blood vessels, so you don't really see them, but cows have thicker nervous and blood vessels, so you can carefully remove them if you don't like it. Next, cut the tongue tip. Since the pork tongue is small, it's hard to tell the difference. This is the beef tongue. It has less white areas. Next, let's cut it in half vertically and see the difference. Pork tongue is low in fat. Only from the root to about one-fifth is the part with more fat beef tongue. About 30% from the root has more fat. We usually don't cut the tongue vertically, so this is a real picture. Let's grill it now. I would like to compare the three parts, the root, the middle, and the tip of both, beef and pork. Beef tongue is usually served with the skin peeled off, but I will grill the one with the skin. So, the beef tongue with skin. Have you seen it with skin? Maybe not. Well, you can eat it, but it just doesn't taste good. It's like a fish skin, hard and dry. So yeah, you should remove it. Actually, it's a lot of waste of food and I don't like that. If we could um, somehow eat it nicely, we can save them all. Do you have any ideas? Next, the special tongue. You don't have to peel off the skin of the pork tongue. Some restaurants make the rough surface smooth, but we don't. It's actually called nipples and you can still eat it. Beef tongue is softer in general, but the root of the pork tongue is also soft enough. Well, the pork tongue is cheaper. I think the price of the beef tongue will become more and more expensive in the future. So I recommend pork tongue too. But maybe beef tongue will be even more popular at the same time. Now the middle part of both. Yep, it's harder. You can make notch on the surface before grilling. Then, no problem. Pork is also harder, yeah. By the way, the beef tongue has more fat and the pork tongue is higher in protein and lower in fat. Pork tongue is rich in potassium, like kidney, liver, and hearts. In the end, the tip part. Since the tip is pretty hard, we don't usually grill it. Yes, it's chewy. We usually use them for minced meat or stewed dishes. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. How did you like the video of the tongue of a cow and pig? Now you know the difference between both. We will continue introducing more meats, so please look forward to it. We're running a homo yakinic restaurant called Homo Shimata in Maibashi City, Goma, Japan. If you have a chance to come to Japan one day, please visit our restaurant and say hi. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.